Hey guys, today we're going to be going over the else if. So we're going to be going on to some of the more advanced if else's nested we already did. So if you, if you haven't seen that, go back, check out the previous tutorials. Anyways, in else if, as you can see on the screen here, is a function in which it validates moving from the top to the bottom. So as you can see, if we write a simple if statement, <clears throat> put a condition in there and it meets that condition the first condition the next statement will be relayed onto you know whatever we're wherever we're putting the function if it doesn't meet this condition up here it moves on to the next which is the else if condition and then it tests this condition and again if it meets this condition it relays this statement if it doesn't it moves on to the next one and so on and so forth so let's just go through a quick tutorial on inserting let's say a percentage grade so if we have a program that uh, it's like a test function it shows a percent grade and you want to relay a message to the user as far as you know yes you pass or no you failed um, that's what we're gonna do with this tutorial so we're gonna give our user a 65 which is failing for most people but uh, we're gonna give them a 65 and test those conditions with an else if. So what we're gonna do in this first if statement, our condition here, is we're gonna put our variable percent grade is greater than or equal to 90. So this guy is a stellar student. So in the statement here, we're gonna give, we're gonna put out a log, and within the log, we're gonna say uh, school is no longer necessary for you. You're a genius. Don't forget your quotation and your brackets, followed by your semicolon. Okay, so the next condition that we're going to put in here is again our variable percent grade, and we're going to do greater than or equal to 80 in this case. Followed up with a statement of again an NS log, and in this case, we're going to write something like the average is way below your grade. Nice. Followed up by a semicolon at the end. And then let's put another condition there as percent grade is greater than or equal to 70. Followed up with a statement NS log. Having a little bit of troubles there. As uh, hang in there, Tiger. You're doing all right. And the last condition we're gonna put is anything less than seventy, which yeah, it needs some work. Percent grade. In this case, we're gonna go less than or equal to sixty-nine. And in this, with this statement, we're going to print out, let's see, ask your girlfriend slash boyfriend for help now. You got some issues, dude. All right. So we wrote, we wrote in all that stuff. And now we're going to validate it and see... You know, as we change the percent grade, the variable at the top, do how does how does it work? How does it get down to this elf is down here or else if, and uh, see what it prints out. So let's go ahead and run the application. Okay, all right. So we got uh, ask your girlfriend or boyfriend for help now. So obviously the 65 is going to be classified under this else if statement here, which is less than 60, less than or equal to 69. So now let's test it as uh, 95. Run that. And we get school is no longer necessary for you. So it seems to be working. Now let's go into the basics of why does it do that? How does it validate it? What's the importance of an else if? So the important of the else if statements is if you have multiple or differing statements that you want to relay with certain conditions. So as you can see, when we built the conditions here, we relayed different conditions based on their input of the variable, what the, what the variable was. 
So that gives you a little bit more flexibility when you're working with conditions and statements for your if-else functions and uh, allows you to proceed forward with multiple other functions that you can interject within. So again, some of the basics, but don't forget to subscribe. Let us know what you're looking for in uh, your tutorials and we'll try to help you out.